Hello everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about my personal favorite information security tool. It's free, it's open source, it's called Atomic Red Team. Before we dive in, my name's Brian Donahue. I am a principal security researcher at Red Canary where I help lead our research publication efforts, but also manage some of our open source tools, including Atomic Red Team. Today we're gonna to talk about what Atomic Red Team is. We're also gonna talk about why people use Atomic Red Team, and then we'll briefly touch on how you can use Atomic Red Team, because it consists of multiple tools, there's many ways to use it, and there's not really any wrong way to use it. Atomic Red Team, at its core, is a library of tests that emulate adversary behaviors. So it is a free version, effectively, of something like breach and attack simulation software. Now, these behaviors, are the kinds of things that you would expect to find in a real threat. Where do these tests come from? Some of them are inspired by threats that we detected at Red Canary. So we'll detect the threat, we'll see something interesting or useful in there, and we may write a test based on that threat that we detected. Now, most tests are community contributed. So it's someone else out at someone other organization that's doing that same thing. They detect the threat, Interesting, submit it up to the repository. Probably most, um, probably most tests are being submitted by folks who are out there reading a vendor's intelligence report, finding an interesting TTP in there and deciding to write a test for it. Now each of these Atomic Red Team tests can consist of prerequisites. That's things that you need to have installed on a system before the test will work. There is the actual command itself, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then some may have cleanup commands if you want to return that test machine back to the state it was in before you started testing. The Atomic tests are all mapped to MITRE ATT&CK. So these behaviors, the tests themselves, have corresponding MITRE ATT&CK technique IDs, and that is how we organize the Atomic Red Team library. So this is what a test looks like. What you're looking at here is an instance of the encoded PowerShell command. So adversaries will use this encoded uh, command flag to hide the contents of a PowerShell command from defenders. Now, a question that I get a lot from folks who want to get started with Atomic Red Team is, where do I start? And it can be really, really overwhelming. What you're looking at here is a very, very small selection of tests. There are hundreds of attack techniques, and then there are probably thousands of tests. So if you were to click on one of these folders, you might see one or multiple Atomic Red Team tests associated with them. It can be very, very overwhelming. So what I typically encourage people to do is go out and read an intelligence report. And very specifically, I encourage them to start with Red Canary's threat detection report, because we've kind of made this all very easy here. So go to the threat detection report. Let's say you want to test a given technique, right? Right here, you can see our top 10 techniques. So these are the things that we are seeing most often across our customer base. It stands to reason that if we're seeing this stuff, folks are probably seeing this stuff all across organizations. So let's go into that PowerShell page. Uh, you could read this whole thing if you want. If you wanna get right down to testing, there's a testing tab right here. That'll drop you down here and it'll give you this great exemplary PowerShell test down here. It's the same one I just showed you on the other slide. So this is a PowerShell that's been encoded using the encoded command flag. And when you run it, it just opens a prompt that says hello from PowerShell. It's completely innocuous. But, um, so you would just copy it and run it in the command prompt and then it would pop open that terminal saying hello from PowerShell. So, the thing that's super useful about this though is, you know, maybe, you wanna test the validity of your detectors, right? So let's say you think you have a good detection coverage for encoded PowerShell commands. Well, you can run that test and you can see if it works. Or maybe a vendor tells you that they, they're good at detecting encoded PowerShell. Run that test and see if they detect it. See if you detect it. And if not, you can sort of ask yourself why. So it's really good for checking the logic of new detectors. It's also good for sort of continually validating that existing detection analytics are still working. A lot of folks also use it to write their own detectors. So in that particular case, maybe you say, hey, I should build a method for detecting encoded PowerShell commands. The logic is right there in the test, right? 
uh, look for a process that appears to be PowerShell executing along with you know some variation of the encoded command switch. Can't promise that's a good detection analytic. Probably very noisy, but you know you tune, you refine, uh, and and you get you get value out of that over time. However, as I said, it is not just Atomic Red Team. We've got other tools that can help you use Atomic Red Team. Invoke Atomic is probably one of the best and most useful ones. Uh, Invoke Atomic is a PowerShell-based execution framework for Atomic Red Team. It allows you to list tests, uh, get details about those tests. So you can select a given test. You can say, show me what the prerequisites are. You can then execute that test and then you can use Invoke to run that cleanup command. You can do this all in an automated fashion. You just have to install Invoke Atomic on PowerShell. Now, Atomic Test Harnesses is kind of a more complex testing system. It allows you to test variation on different techniques. So for a given technique, maybe you can use more than one scripting harness to run that technique. It'll run all those different scripting harness for that individual technique. And it's really designed to test the depth of your detectors, to really stress test them and figure out if they're brittle or if they're not brittle. Now within Invoke Atomic specifically is a tool called Atomic Runner. Atomic Runner is really, really useful for enterprises because it allows you to run scheduled tests, to orchestrate scheduled tests across different machines. Um, so you can set up a sequence of tests within a CSV. It will append GUIDs and host names onto all of those tests. And that way you can take individual tests on singular machines and tie them back up to detections that may or may not have fired. Uh, and it also includes automatic cleanup and it's cross-platform, right? So you can use it on Windows, you can use it on Mac OS, or, or you can use it on Linux. And then the last thing here is just making it a habit out of this. So maybe you're using it to validate detective controls, in which case every once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to run a battery of atomic tests. You're gonna to wanna to review the output of those tests and then you repeat it. However, that's not the only use case for Atomic Red Team. One of my personal favorite use cases is education. So I learned a ton simply from installing Sysmon on a machine, running Atomics, going and actually finding the telemetry associated with those atomics and then repeating that process until I really, really got a good idea of what malicious and suspicious behavior looks like on an endpoint. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you go out and start using Atomic Red Team. Let us know in the comments if you do.